Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. I have something really fun to share today. I'm going to be part of a TV show. I cannot tell you which one just yet. However, I thought it would be fun to take you around the process. Um, being in front of the camera can be a little bit stressful. And when you don't necessarily know your script pretty well, it can be really easy to forget when you're in the moment and you have this huge camera on your face and all the lights. Now I'm going to be setting up the experiment. I'm going to be creating the script and sending it over for approval. And I will also be practicing it. So let's get started. I just got approval regarding the projects that I pitched for the demos and now I'm on the sprout. I'm going to get some of the materials and start testing once I get home. So I'll see you soon. This is a kids show, so I had so much fun, as you can see here, recreating some of my favorite childhood experiments. This first one is the lemon battery. Next on the list is to clean up my workbench. Whenever I use it, sometimes by the end, I'm just tired, so I end up leaving everything there, and then next time I need it, I have to clean everything up. <laughs> All right, so here we have our experiment. It's time for the lemon battery. We have our lemons, and then we have these roofing nails. I picked these up at Home Depot. They are electro-galvanized. And on the right side, we have our copper. If you wanna build it yourself, it is super, super easy. Just alternate between pieces of copper and the galvanized nail to connect everything up in series, as you can see here. So we have galvanized nail, copper, galvanized nail, copper. Then there's our LED. Lighting up. So that part obviously took the least amount of my time. It's a really easy process. The next experiment is what took me a little bit longer in terms of experimentation. And unfortunately, I can't really show it to you because we haven't filmed this segment yet, but it is pretty cool. Now this part of the process isn't just getting it to work, although that's a very important part. It's also making sure that everything looks good and that it's going to look good on camera and that it looks clear. All right, my workbench is a mess. I am done experimenting for today. That was, you know, it was a good day. Um, I really like to kind of just experiment, figure everything out, make sure that I really do everything a couple times so that there will be no surprises during shoot day, um, film day. Now I'm going to get to work on the script. And after that, I will just send it over, make sure that it gets looked at and we make any important edits and then I'm all ready to go for the shoot. Okay, so I'm about to go ahead over to the shoot. I am not freaking out, but like just running a tiny bit late um, because some stuff got brought up this morning that I wasn't really expecting having to spend time on. So it kind of cut into the time that I had to get ready. So I'm still on time, but you know, when you're on time, you're late. So let's get out of here. Let's do this. So you may have noticed in the previous clip that I kind of just was not really done up yet. <laughs> and that is because we have a on-set hair and makeup artist that comes to do all of that. And she's so amazing. She always has such creative looks for me. For this look, we decided to go with blue eyeliner to go along with the blue sweater. And then also my next outfit is purple, so it still matches. Here I have this gorgeous rocket sweater that I'm wearing for the first shoot. And you can kind of see some hints of my purple hair left over. Also, here's a quick glance of the set. Also, obviously can't film while I'm posting this segment, but segment one is done. Now outfit change and on to film segment two. This next outfit is my absolute favorite. You guys know that anytime I make any content about electronics, I pull out that purple jumpsuit. It is a staple on my channel and on my platform. So I had to do it. Here's a quick little clip. Hi everyone, it is Electric Cat here. I have some balloons, I have some fur. So you know what that means? Today we are going to be playing with static electricity. This is what the set looks like. Here's another just quick little clip. And this clip is actually from a different day, but same set, same concept. So I wanted to include it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a comment, like the video if you liked it and subscribe. It really helps a lot. It helps me so much to be able to continue doing this work. So if you enjoy my content, be sure to let me know and I will see you next time.